Welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today we're talking about Ven by the OP. It's a 20 to 30 minute game for ages 10 and up and two or more players can play it. In Ven, players will be playing on two teams and using art cards to give clues about words they want their team to guess. And they'll be placing these art cards onto the Venn diagram to give those clues. The team that wins is whoever gets to the 12 points first. And next we're going to talk about setup and how to play and our review. In Venn, you'll be getting a stack of word cards, stack of number cards, stack of art cards. First, you'll set up your Venn diagram for each of your team, making sure that the pink and the blue and the yellow overlap a bit. Then you'll lay out the number track where you'll shuffle and place the word cards down. Each teammate will designate someone to be the clue giver and they will get a card secretly with the numbers that correspond to the different word cards as well as about a third of the stack of art cards. Next, the teams will simultaneously put down picture cards that will describe the word that it corresponds to as well as in the different areas that overlap. When one team decides that they have enough clues, they can yell then, um, and that will initiate them guessing. So when one team yells then, then all laying of the art cards will stop and the teams will guess the words to their clue giver. And then if they, based on how many words they guess correctly, they'll get that many points. Plus, if that team yelled Ven and they got all three words correct, they'll get a bonus point. You'll move your tracker up on the score tracker and the first team to get to 12 or more wins. The artwork is unique in Ven, so the cards are somewhat realistic. They look like they could be actual photos, but they're composed and put together in a way that's sort of whimsical and unexpected, um, akin to some other similar picture clue giving games like Dixit and Mysterium. But you'll see they still look like they could be, maybe that could be an actual photo. And that's good because a lot of the words are very uh, real world realistic. And because there's several elements in each card, you'll have to decide which elements are important based on the words available. Yeah, I actually love this artwork because they do give so many clues in each one. I prefer this artwork to Mysterium because um, Mysterium is like sometimes it's really obscure and you don't know really what to focus on. But this has, it's double sided mm -hmm. and you can have so many things that you can pick in the picture that you can focus on. The quality of the game, I like the quality. Um, I really like these um, colored plastic plates, I guess, that you overlap with each other. Um, it makes it easy to see where your Venn diagram is and where they overlap. Mm -hmm. And the cards are really nice and big and mm -hmm. printed well. I think, yeah, the cards are great and the Venn diagram is great. There's certain, I think there's way too many number cards in the deck. I would love to see some more of the art cards. I know those are probably more time intensive to create and uh, more costly, but that's really where the game, the replayability happens is in the art cards. As far as gameplay, uh, we had a lot of fun playing this game. We played it with several different groups of people uh, and got really competitive <laughs> on some of them, which was great. There's always, um, especially if you play with more than four players, there's always more talking and communication going on between because you have someone to bounce the ideas off of with. So I def definitely recommend uh, six or more players. Even players is gonna be better, so each team has the same number of people, but you could still have odd number of players. What's nice is because of this type of game, if there are other people in the room who need to go and do something or come in and out of games, that's also possible with this game, which is nice, especially for family gatherings and stuff like that. Yeah, overall I'd say this is a really great game to play, especially with families and large groups of people. I would prefer playing this with a lot of people over, like just two, because I think it is fun to like communicate each with each other and try to Guess. Oh, what's that? No, yeah. that's got to be fluffy and alive because of this and and mm -hmm. kind of argue and debate a little bit while the clue giver like sh 
frantically looking through the cards trying to figure, place them down really quickly. One thing we noticed differently in the play styles based on the number of players is yeah when you have two versus two you only have one clue giver and one guesser on each team it's going to be a lot more silent game and less going on a little bit more focus and then when you add those other players those other guessers they're going to be communicating with each other the rule says that that's what they can do but that also gives the clue giver more information and then they could determine um, what they want to do with that information either add it because you can add additional cards on top if you've already played cards and that can kind of change up the game I think it depends on if you want that to happen or not it's kind of unclear in the rules if that's supposed to be happening overall a really fun experience and great for friends and families of almost all ages and types thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review if you like this video Please give us a like, a comment, a subscribe, maybe press the notification button, and you can join us at our live stream on Sundays at 6.30 p.m. And you can watch those afterwards on YouTube as well. And join us on our website, unfilteredgamer.com, to check out tons of more reviews, including blog reviews, as well as giveaways. We hope to see you there. If you're interested in getting this game, you can check out the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, we look forward to seeing see you guys, guys next, next time. time. Don't ruin your shorts. I didn't wow. mean to give The brand new shorts it, I just got you. Put it back you. in the bag. Can't buy it. Oh my gosh. It's fine. Put it in the bag. Okay. You don't, you don't, like, dig your pee? Mm-mm. What's wrong with it? Why it's you, dirty. It's not a no, toy. It's, not. it's fairly dirty. It has a little bit of a hair in it. And a dead ant. And, <laughs> and maybe my feet. If you like this game, then, wait, they didn't play it. If you're interested in picking up this game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you good. How many topics are there like, in the outro? Comment, like, comment, subscribe. Right, thank you for watching. Uh -huh. Check out the game. Like, comment, subscribe. The what? live stream, the website. Okay. I know. I, when I was uh, saying that, I was like, oh, that sounds confusing. Two and up. <laughs> pages 10 and up yeah. and two or more players. Okay.